Hey kids, how are you? Well, I'm sure by now you've recognized many of the names of people uh, in the Bible, and especially Jesus' disciples. Uh, and usually we think of Jesus having 12 disciples. Uh, and of those 12 disciples, there are a few that we hear a lot about, especially like Peter and James and John, uh, just to name a few of them. Well, after Jesus rose from the dead on that first Easter, and after the Holy Spirit had come upon these 12 disciples, these 12 apostles on Pentecost, the church began to move out into the world and uh, bring others into the family of God's people. And so now we encounter some other people whose names are important in the Bible. And one of those is a man by the name of Paul. Have you ever heard us talk about a man by the name of Paul? And of course, his story is special because his name got changed. He originally was called Saul, but it was changed to Paul. Well, when he was Saul, he was someone who um, didn't like Jesus' followers. But Saul had a special uh, vision of Jesus, the risen Jesus, on his way to Damascus. And after that, he became one of the strongest disciples, uh, apostles of Jesus in the early church. So a new name that we have that's very important in the early church is the person Paul. And Paul took some missionary journeys, and with him on one of these, several of these journeys, he took some other people whose names also became important for us in the Bible. One of those was a guy by the name of Barnabas. Have you ever heard of Barnabas? And another one was a guy by the name of Silas. Okay, so just to say that as the early church started to continue to grow following Jesus' resurrection, uh, there are new names that become important, as well as women. There was a woman by the name of Lydia, and uh, there are others that become important along the way. So just wanted to add a couple more names to those important names in the Bible. This week, Paul and Barnabas and Silas and Lydia. All right. See you next week. Bye-bye.